Election day is just over two weeks past, and the recriminations are in full force. In the state of New Mexico, one CEO has announced that he will no longer do business with Trump supporters. Not just people who voted for Trump, but all Republicans, indeed anyone who has said a kind word about the president-elect. They're all morally tainted, he says, and they're not welcome at his internet marketing company. The owner of that company, Matt Blanchfield, joins us now. Matt, thanks a lot for coming on. I got to say... Thank you for having me. One thing I appreciate about the statement that you issued is that it's totally straightforward. There's nothing stealthy or feline about it. You're just, you're out there. You're saying what you think, and I, and I do respect that. But it does seem like well, you are saying of Trump voters, you're not just wrong, but you're bad people. Is that what you're saying? That is not my intention. No, I don't believe that uh, the majority of Trump voters are bad people. I believe that uh, most people are probably um, ignorant of what the reality of their vote actually means. Hmm. So then why wouldn't you do business with people who are just wrong? I mean, I think most of us feel that way when we vote. We feel passionately about our position. We acknowledge others feel the same way about theirs. But we can still kind of come together in the public square. We don't need to exclude them from our lives. I, I understand what you're saying. I believe that the moral principle is so large in this particular situation that people um, who believe in what's right need to stand up and ignorance of evil and ignorance of injustice is not a an, um, justification to be part of it. Right. So anyone that supports Trump um, by omission or by commission are not welcome to do business in my company. Well, I mean, I'm sure you see the irony here, and I can't be the first person to point out that in the name of inclusiveness, you're excluding people, and in the name of tolerance, you're being intolerant. Has that occurred to you? I, I, I've not made the claim that I'm trying to be inclusive or that I'm trying to be tolerant. I am not tolerant of bigotry. I'm not tolerant of fascism. I'm not tolerant of sexism. I'm not tolerant of a many um, immoral behaviors in this world, and I'm not attempting to be tolerant of them. So we, I mean, a couple questions, but you say fascism. I mean, you don't really believe that. If you believe that Trump was a fascist dictator, then you would organize an actual resistance to him. I mean, you would, you would be Dietrich Bonhoeffer. I, you would I, be fighting against him, for real. I absolutely believe that Trump is a fascist, and Hitler was elected legally. Uh, Putin was elected legally. Trump has been, uh, well, it appears that the Electoral College will elect him soon. Um, he lost the majority vote. Uh, the popular vote, but uh, it appears that uh, the election that was rigged against him, he'll be able to have less votes than his opponent and take office. I find that quite ironic. Um, but, you know, I absolutely believe that Trump is a fascist, and I believe his actions thus far are indicative of what a fascist does. Well, then why wouldn't you take up arms against him? If you really believe the country is being uh, taken over by someone you just compared to Hitler, then that's, I mean, that's like the worst thing that could ever happen. That's correct. I believe that this interview right now is the first step that I'm able to make to do so. I've received probably 50 death threats, threats against my children, threats to burn my business down, threats to, uh, against my, empl my employment. I've, right. uh, my phone, my business uh, email has not stopped um, from people singing Hitler songs and uh, claiming well, that they're the KKK. I, mean, I don't think and any normal person, any normal person would agree with any of that. But I just... I mean, but also, I mean, if, if you are decrying the climate of rage and intolerance, aren't you adding to it? I mean, you're saying you want to do business with Trump supporters. Would you have them into your home? Would you eat with them? Would you use the same water fountain as they do? I, I guess my question for you is, if you were a member of the Nazi party in the 40s in, Hitler, in Hitler's day, would you have done business with Nazi party members? Well, I, I don't know. I mean, I'm not living in the 40s, and, and the Nazi party doesn't exist in the United States. So I'm asking you a specific question about what's going on now. Donald Trump was just elected president. You're saying you're not doing business with his supporters. And my question is, to what degree will you take it? Will you, will you eat with them? Would you allow a Trump supporter in your home? Would I allow a Trump supporter in my home? Yes, I would, I would have no problem talking with Trump supporters. I work with Trump supporters. I interact with Trump supporters. But right. as a citizen of the United States, I'm with, fully within my legal rights and within the state I, I actually live in, there is nothing illegal about me choosing to not do business with someone who supports someone I believe to be a dictator, um, and, that I believe and to and be that a is, fascist. That is, legal. that is legal, but do you think it's okay? I mean, as a, as a principle, do you think I, it's okay I, I, for people to refuse to do business with others they disagree with? you think that's all right? 
Absol absolutely. And I guess I think that you sidestepped my question when I asked if you would have done business with Nazi Party members in the 40s, because that's something that you're obviously an educated, intelligent person. You can determine if you would have done so. And your well, failure to answer that, I think, is indicative of your position. Well, I was doing it out of politeness to you because it's such a ludicrous comparison. I didn't want to humiliate you by pointing that out, but I'll do so now since you pushed it. That is an absurd thing to say. And, of course, there's no comparison at all. Um, but if we could just move Wait, beyond you, that, you explain just to, explain, said, to, ex, explain to me the absurdity well, it, it, in my statement, sir. The, that Trump is Hitler? I mean, I think it's self-discrediting. I mean, there's nothing about I did, it's not, I didn't say Trump. I didn't say Trump was, I okay. didn't say Trump was Hitler. I said Trump is a fascist. Right, okay. I doubt you could define the term, but let me just get to specifics here. You say it's okay. Well, then why don't you, then, you, then, why don't you then why don't you educate me? Then educate me with the term because obviously the, the hundreds you're the one of people that have attacked out, me today. You're, you're the one throwing out the term fascist. What, 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 what an authoritarian dictator. What an authoritarian dictator is. I'm quite aware of what the definition is. I'm quite aware right. of what okay. a fascist is. I'm quite aware of fascism means. I'm quite aware of all of these definitions. And the reality is, is that his behavior, even with the top media experts or leaders of the country just two days ago was a totally authoritarian Look, behavior I, I under, when he brought I, him to I, his I, ivory tower. When he brought okay. his, let me finish. When he brought him to his ivory tower and berated the United States press and set the precedent that if you resist him, that he will, uh, uh, <laughs> he, didn't even, he didn't even have the moral turpitude to do it openly. So first you're trying, you're trying my patience here. I mean, I, I'm, I'm sorry, because what you're doing is belittling historical reality. Being rude to news anchors who make $3 million a year is not the same as rounding up an entire ethnic group and killing them or invading Poland. It's just not. And so for you to say that really does sort of diminish actual historical crimes. But again, I don't want to dwell on that because I think it diminishes you uh, by doing so. Let me just, I want to get to this point though, because uh, I think it's meaningful. Feel free, you feel, free said, to diminish me, feel free to diminish me as much as you want. You're, you're doing it to yourself. Look, I think it's totally valid to not like Trump, and I think it's valid to be mad at people who voted for him. I'm, I'm not denying your right to do that. But if we were living in a fascist dictatorship, our men would appear behind you and drag you off the screen. So let's not sort of overstate the reality of modern America. But let me ask you this. The left has argued okay. consistently well, sir, not, that I mean, it maybe, is not maybe need, allowable. Maybe you do need, maybe you'd, Maybe you do need to look at your history because that's not exactly how Hitler began. That's not exactly how Putin began. Okay. There are many okay. elected dictators that didn't start off by dragging people away the first day because that's okay. not how it works. You might want to do some reading of history yourself. Okay. I'm, I'm, I, I think we're, we're veering into hysteria here. But let me just ask you this one question because, again, finally, I think it's important. The left has argued consistently for the past eight years that if you disagree with somebody, his behavior or beliefs, you are not allowed to decline to do business with him. That is discrimination. And you've seen it in a famous case over wedding I, cakes I and not, gay marriage. I do not claim, and yet you're saying claim, that's totally fine. I don't claim to speak for the left. I don't claim to speak for any group. Oh, I don't claim to speak right. for an organization. I claim to speak for myself. And I right. believe that standing up against justice is the foundation of what our country is all about. I believe having the moral turpitude to stand up against the masses is what a citizen and a patriot actually does. I believe that having the courage to risk your business, the courage to risk your reputation, the courage to risk your physical well-being against mass hysteria to choose one of your terms is absolutely what is mandated by our Constitution if you want to adhere to it properly. Boy, you are on a moral vanity trip like I've never seen. Has it occurred to you that every rich, famous person, fashionable person in America agrees with you? That you're taking no risk at all? That, that in fact, that, you, that, people that like you argument, are celebrated that, that argument, in every Ameri argument, American argument, newspaper and award ceremonies? I mean, I mean the, come on. The, 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 the argument you just made was absurd. It is irrelevant. Uh -huh. Reality is irrelevant what people of position and power and wealth believe to be the case. Once upon a time, all of the wealthy and power people believed the earth was flat. They were incorrect regardless of their own personal beliefs. This Matt, is I'm exactly just saying you're not taking a huge risk in doing this other than discrediting yourself and embarrassing yourself okay. in front of your neighbors. Uh, how, many, how, whatever. Whatever. Look, how many, how many, how many, hey, excuse me, sir, how many death threats have you received today? I, you know, I don't know. I, I'm out of time. Hard to see you as a victim. I, I do admire you for saying what you think in public. I don't, I'm I don't always think I'm, for that, I don't think I'm a victim. I'm not, I'm not, a, well, I'm not a victim in any way, shape, or form. I am okay. not a victim, well, and I've never claimed to be a victim. Okay. Well, thanks a lot, Matt. I appreciate your coming on. Appreciate it.